Hi, I'm Phil Burt, uh, Phil Burt Innovation. Um, I was the British Cycling Lead Physio for 12 years and uh, helps up Team Sky. I have a niche expertise in selling people up on bikes to achieve their aims, be it winning Olympic gold medals, uh, performance related, comfort, pain, resolving injuries. Um, what we're going to explore today is that absolute minefield of saddle choice. Um, let's start with why it's important and that might explain why it can be so difficult to get yourself comfortable on a saddle. When you start off in uh, this job as a bike fitter or bike positioning, you spend the first five years changing everything around the saddle and then you start to realise how important the saddle setup is to the whole position. I see more people with bike positions that are set up for the wrong saddle or position of saddle than anything else. So after that amount of time, I always start with the saddle and where it is and how it's working and is it right for that person and the discipline and goals they're trying to achieve. Now, what I can tell you is that you can have the best saddle in the world, the exact right saddle for you, but let's just take one factor. If its position isn't right and that may be its setback from where how far back it is on the bike, its height, its tilt, if all those things are optimal, it might not work for you, yet it's the right saddle for you. Let's take another thing, you can have the best saddle in the world and you have a, a short with a chamois in it where if you have a gap saddle, saddle for example, the chamois just dives straight down into the middle. All of a sudden you're in pain and discomfort. You can have a stitch down the middle of your short that's just in the wrong place when you're time trialing and all of a sudden the saddle that is right for you isn't working but because of the stitch in the short. You could be one of those people who doesn't know to use chamois cream and your, your skin is vulnerable to that and all of a sudden you're not taking advantage of that friction free environment that might help with that. It's so multifactorial, but what I'm gonna try and do through this uh, YouTube channel is trying to give you, there is no rule of thumb or saddles. Let's, let's just be absolutely clear and get that established straight away. If there was, I would be a millionaire and I wouldn't be standing here in front of this camera. But if what we can do is hopefully narrow down and help you not make the biggest mistakes possible. And if we can do that by a series of looking at saddle choice in a layered way, as we do in our clinic, almost like an algorithm where, is it me or my skin? Is it my stability? Am I the most unstable person in the world? It's nothing to do with the position. Or is it, I've got the wrong type of saddle for what I'm trying to achieve? Or is it, God knows what. So what we're gonna do, try and help you with that. Okay, without further ado, let's try and tackle the first layer of the saddle conundrum or algorithm. Have I got the right saddle for my discipline? So a lot of you be road riders out there and um, this is a classic saddle for road riding. Uh, the reason being it's T-shaped as I call it and uh, basically a T-shaped saddle works well because it supports the sit bones as you're sitting down in a road bike position. A road bike position isn't really rotated forward like a time trial position. It's a bit more rotated back and requires you to sit for long periods of time here. And if you get the saddle in the right position, it will support your pelvis quite nicely and you'll be quite comfortable. Um, more recently, um, there's been a trend away from the longer saddles towards the shorter saddles here. And these short nose saddles work for a lot of people. They still support the sit bones, um, but provide clearance quicker at the nose so the legs don't get as much chafing. They also, because they're shorter, if you get them in a certain position, they give some people a lot of reassurance that they're sitting in the right place all the time because they don't give them much choice. You sit there because that's the only way you can sit. Now, let's change disciplines a minute and the quite common cutout saddle now and prong nose saddle here. Now, cutouts are designed to help with numbness, uh, particularly men, the pedendal nerve, and uh, we'll go into that in, in a subsequent video. But for this particular saddle here, the time trial saddle made popular by ISM, when you're time trialing, you're much further rotated forward at the pelvis. So basically, if you're on a normal saddle, you're not on your sit bones and you run out of support at the front of the saddle. This saddle's great at supporting those sit bones. And that's why you see so many people in, for example, Ironman and Kona using this saddle because it basically can support their pubic round in that very forward, rotated, aggressive position. A lot of people find a lot of comfort that, with that. The thing is, this saddle is probably not the best for road riding. It's designed for time trialing. Whereas this saddle is designed for road riding. So maybe if you've already made that mistake, you can help yourself by finding a saddle that starts to support the discipline you're doing. 